don't click away. I did almost die. The tea is about to be spilt. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your host, Tiger Eye Cosplay, and you're watching Nerdocity. What up, YouTube? This is your host, Tiger Eye Cosplay, coming at you. And this is a new segment on a channel called Story Time, where I'm about to spill the tea real good. So I just want to make sure you stick around and hold on to your hats because it's about to get good. I almost died at Disney World. I am super accident prone. Like you, you don't even know. I've gotten bruises and scrapes and cuts in places I don't even know how it happened. We're starting off strong with a nice juicy little story. I almost died at Disney World, guys. How do you almost I at Disney well let me bring you my story now when I was a sophomore in high school well you older than a sophomore in high school yeah I know it's crazy right you think I you thought I was 10 but when I was a sophomore in high school I went on a Disney World trip with my show choir group called voices unlimited we got to go to Disney World because they invited us there to sing and dance and perform and yeah that is hella cool I'm not lying when my butt wanted to go my parents were like yeah cool cuz it's it's a once-in-a-lifetime sort of thing you go you have fun you do it and my mom she usually went on trips like this with me because she was always like a chaperone and everything but since it was Disney World we were flying from Maine to Florida doing the whole Disney World for a whole week sort of thing it was a lot of money to send one person let alone two so she was like you're a sophomore in high school you're gonna have to leave some point in your life so it's gonna be fine you can go alone it's gonna be fine little did she know it was not gonna be fine I was like cool I'm going on a trip without my mom that's neat that's cool but I'm also a little scared I'm also wanting my mom to be there because it's a big opportunity I mean we are performing in Disney World son I mean that was insane but I went but before I left before I got into that bus to take a trip down to Bangor International Airport my mom she looked at me she grabbed me by the shoulders she looked at me right in the eyes and she said this Tiger Eye, do not be yourself. You need to be outgoing. You need to talk to people. If you don't talk to people, I'm coming up there and I'm going to make you talk to people. And I'm like, thanks, Ma. That's usually what someone wants to hear when they leave to go a thousand miles away. Not I love you, but do not be yourself. And I'm like, okay, fine, Ma. I love you too. So we fly all the way down to Florida, right all the way to Disney World. It took from like six o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning, something like that, all the way to six o'clock in the afternoon. We get to stay at the resort at Disney. It was lit, it was the, the French one. It was like a port or something. It was super beautiful though, and I loved it. I was having the time of my life. We get in there, I'm bunking with three other girls, and I go out, and I'm just walking by myself, and my mom, her voice rings in the back of my head, Tiger Eye, don't be yourself, talk to people, make friends. And I'm like, you know what, Ma? I got you. I'm gonna make some friends today. I'm gonna talk to people because I'm not gonna be my social awkward self. And I heard, I saw people in the resort area talking about playing some Ultimate Frisbee. And you know your girl, your girl right here. She, she adores playing Ultimate Frisbee, bruh. I am an Ultimate Frisbee master to a degree. Look at there. I love playing Ultimate Frisbee. So I heard this through the grapevine and I was like, yo, I gotta go over there and I'd be like, hey, can I play? And that means I talk to people, but also doing something that I wanna do, which is not talking to people, okay? It kills two birds with one stone. And I was ready. Yo, hey guys, what's up? Can I play Ultimate Frisbee too? And they were like, yeah, sure, come in. And I was like, score one for Tiger Eye. I, got, I was talking to people, I was grooving, I was doing good. And so I got onto the team and they're like, what can, what can you do? And I'm like, I can run fast, my man. I can run fast. I'll, I'll just run and you throw me a frisbee. We catch it. We good, okay? So we did that. We got a point right off the bat because I ran like my life depended on it. I ran. And then I caught that frisbee. We got the point and everybody was like, whoa, yeah, toe tiger eye. And I was like, heck yeah, son, watch me move. Yeah. And so we were going to do it again. It was like a blitzkrieg mo movement. You know, that war tactic, blitzkrieg, it was like, hit him hard. Don't ask any questions. Like, we going strong. The team captain, he was like, okay, Tiger, I listen, what you got to do is we're just going to all fan out, but you are going to run to the end. We're not even going to let them know what hit him, okay? Right as you're running, I'm going to throw it as hard as I can, and you're going to catch it, and we're going to get another point right off the bat, and bam, it's going to be awesome. And I'm like, heck yeah, I'm 
in the game, I'm in the game now. That's right, mama, I talked, I talked, okay? And they're wanting me to do all the stuff. As we're going and I'm getting adrenaline, I'm like, yeah, 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 what you gonna do? I'm, I'm your team, what you gonna do, man? What you gonna do? They throw the Frisbee to us, like you're supposed to do, you launch it. The team captain, he grabbed the Frisbee and I booked it, like I booked it, man. You could have seen like me, like the flash, I was just like, woo, right over there, it was great. And he threw that Frisbee and I was ready. I was watching that Frisbee, I was running like this, you know, keep your eye on the ball, keep your eye on the ball, that's what your dad says every single time. So I was running and I was gonna catch that sucker. Now before I go any further, I gotta tell you what this whole thing was sort of about. We were in the resort area and if you've been in a resort in Disney, you know it's a bunch of food areas and then hotels and things like that and then you're messing around with like sidewalks and everything like that. You can see the little signs at the top and then lampposts and everything. But there is a patch of grass that stretches out far into the thing where people can just lay around, do some stuff. So we went into that patch of grass. It was a nice long stretch of grass that was like rectangular-ish surrounded by steps, two steps going down into it. So it was like a divot sort of grass area. So you had to walk down two steps to get into it. All around the steps were trees and then cement flower pots in between the trees surrounding the whole entire area. But it was big enough that we were like, yo, we could do ultimate frisbee here, no problem. So I was running, I kept my eye on the frisbee and then all of a sudden I see black, okay? Like it's just like, phoom, and you're just like, what? And I'm picking myself up the, off the ground. And I don't know how long it's been, but I'm picking myself up. And I'm just like, what just happened? Everyone's surrounding me being like, are you okay, Tiger Hunter? Are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, how did I even get here? I was out for as long as it took to have three teachers crowd me. All of the kids who were playing Ultimate Frisbee and for one of them to have already gotten a medic who was walking up. So I don't know how long I was out, but I was out for a bit and I was picking myself up. Now my first thought, if you know me, I do not like to be the center of attention. I don't like to be a burden on anybody. And I don't like to have anyone fuss over me because it just makes me a little like, mm -mm. you know what I mean? So my first instinct was to pick myself up and be like, yo, I'm fine, I'm fine. We can just keep on playing, it's okay. But I pick myself up, the world rushes up to meet me. I see stars and I'm like, I am not okay. So I'm looking around, I'm just like, oh Lord. I'm not crying or anything. I know that there's blood coming down my head. I can feel it. I know that there's blood rushing from my knee. I can see that. And I also knew that I hurt all over. But I have a very high pain tolerance, so I wasn't crying or nothing. Are you okay? Is everything okay? And I'm just like dazed. I don't even know what the heck's going on. So I'm just like, you know, feeling around in my mouth because my whole mouth is swole right now. And I'm just feeling around with my tongue. And then I'm like, hold up. Something wrong here. I knocked out a tooth, y'all. I hit something so hard, I knocked out a tooth. That, my friends, is when I started crying because I had just gotten off my braces. I had five years with those metal things on my teeth. One month passes that I have them off and I knock out a daggum tooth. You best believe my butt was crying, all right? Cause I was just like, that is five years and $6,000 down the drain and one go. My tooth, my tooth is gone. Where's my tooth? And the teacher's like, what? I lost a tooth, woman. Where is my tooth? So she's looking around. I'm still dazed and I'm crying right now cause I'm like, my tooth is gone. Okay, do not tell me that you would not be like that because if your tooth was gone, okay? She's looking around, she picks up this white rock to me from the ground, and she's like, is this it? And I'm like, ah! <laughs> yes, it was it. So we had to get a carton of milk to put my my little tooth in there so that it would not, you know, damage anymore. So, fun, but it gets better, okay? What I hit was one of those cement flower pots. How I hit it was tripping up the two stairs because the frisbee was overshot. I tried to catch it, wasn't looking where I was going, and shot up the stairs and went head first right into that cement flower pot. Knocked the stuffing out of me, I swear. All I know is that I'm bleeding from my temple here. I lost a tooth, guys. My leg has a divot out of it because the, the stairs ripped it open. So I'm bleeding profusely and I'm feeling around my mouth. How the heck did I lose a tooth? And then I realized that there's like a glob of blood right here. My tooth went through my lower lip, completely through it. So now I have a scar there, like an upside down V. It's my battle scar, I'm proud of it. It's awesome, but at the time I was like, ah! <laughs> yeah, you get it. So a couple of teachers come up to me, the medic finally comes around and he's just like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And I'm like, 
I was gonna say I was, but you could clearly see that I'm not. So the dude brings out like crap ton of rags and he's like mopping up the blood off of my leg to, finally, to stop the bleeding. And me, being the person I am, I look straight at the medic and I'm like, I am so sorry. I am messing up your towels right now. He looks at me like I'm crazy and he's just like, it's literally fine. Like we have a bunch of these towels. Looks at my teacher and my teacher's like, ah. And I'm just like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I do this. It's fine. And my teacher's like, yeah, so should we take you to the ER? Because you might have like a concussion or something. I don't know. What? I don't know. My other couple of teachers were just like, yes, we're gonna take her to the ER because she's bleeding in so many places right now. She lost a tooth. She might got a concussion. I can't get off the ground right now. This man's still mopping up blood, trying to console me, who's still upset that I am ruining his white towels, okay? We hear sirens. The ambulance backs up into the resort as much as it can, brings out a stretcher. They lift me onto a stretcher. They're wheeling me away, and it feels like dum, dum, da, dum, da, da. Da -dum, da -dum. And all my friends were just sitting down on the ground or holding each other, be like, we knew her. We knew her when she was alive and she was well. He's on a stretch and we ain't gonna never see her again. And I'm just like looking at this, like, where am I going? And I'm just looking at all these sad faces and then I get even more crying because I'm just like, where do they think I'm going? Death? Like, please, come on. So I'm being rolled away in the stretcher. I get picked up into the back of the ambulance, you know, turn around so I'm looking straight out the back. What are the dudes coming? up with me and then a chaperone for the teacher because they got to call my mom I do all that ish you know I'm dreading that conversation on the phone the ER person gets up into the car uh, into the back of the ambulance and he looks at me it's like is everything okay sweetie is there anything that we need to know look I'm dead in the eye and I'm just like <laughs> I get motion sickness I can't sit in the back of the truck looking out the back do you want me to throw up <laughs> and the man's like it's okay you won't even know I get motion sickness man they're asking me my name my age the the date right now what time it is where we are like what's going on and stuff I don't even know the date on a good day but I knew it then because we had traveled and stuff like that so it was okay but I was getting pissed I was like dude I cannot speak right now my lip is swollen I lost a daggum tooth I hurt all over why do I gotta ask answer these questions we get to the hospital right they bring me down out the stretcher I can barely walk right now because I got a leg that has a chunk of flesh missing out of it bleeding and I'm over here burning and I'm I'm just like, what we gonna do? They bring me a wheelchair. So I'm sitting in a wheelchair. I'm being rolled into the hospital. We get there, they, they put me in. I get a nice little bracelet that I still have to this day that said I'm being, you know, admitted into the hospital and whatever. They bring me in. The doctor comes and sees me. I'm sitting on this bed sort of thing. And he looks at, he's like, ha, so how's Disney? Is it everything that you hoped for? And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know, dude, you tell me. I'm here in a hospital right now. What do you mean? Did all your dreams come true? No, I'm in a hospital, bruh. And so he said like, what's your name? What's your age? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I've already said this to the dude out back, but I'm okay, I'm gonna continue. So he's just like, so we're gonna have to put stitches into your lip. And I'm just like, oh, sweet, stitches. I'm gonna look like a badass now, like stitches. That's pretty neat. Not the stitches that I was thinking of. No, uh, they're called liquid stitches. And anyone who knows that liquid stitches is just super glue. Don't let them fool you. Not badass. I'm sitting in a room out back waiting for this dude to come in. He's shooting me up with anesthetic so that my lip won't hurt when he puts in the liquid stitches. Apparently, I have a high tolerance to anesthetic because I felt everything when that dude came back with his glue. But I couldn't say Jack because my lip was so swole. So I'm over here being, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the dude's like, okay, so I'm just gonna take the liquid stitches. We're gonna put it in and then we're gonna be good. It's gonna take really easy. It's not gonna be hard at all. And I'm like, that's a lie. He puts on his gloves. He he puts a little drop of glue on my lip. And I'm like, oh, it's not so bad. Until he starts pushing it into my lip. And I'm just like, ha 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 So he's like pushing my lip, pushing it together. But the man doesn't realize that super glue sticks to hand. So he's pushing it together and then he's ripping his fingers apart and I'm feeling every bit of it. So it's like stick, rip, ah! 
this is a little hell right now. I don't know how long it took, but it felt like an hour to me. Finally, it was like, okay, so we have like several of medicines that you're gonna have to take. You're gonna have to keep your leg wrapped and put on band-aids and stuff. And you got a little cut here and just gonna fix your glasses a little bit so they're not all wonky and whatever, but now you can go back. And I'm like, yay. <laughs> I didn't have a concussion. Woo! We take a cab back home, right? I get like three different types of pain medication and antibiotics or whatnot. So this cab takes us back to Disney World and I get, I have to go back into my little hotel room. I hit the bed and I fall asleep like a ton of bricks. I get out the next morning. I'm trying to eat. So I'm eating in this side of my mouth, cutting up little, little, tiny little pieces and putting it in my mouth and being like, I'm trying to eat. It gets better, guys. One of the dudes comes in, one of the dudes that was playing the ultimate frisbee, and he's just like, yo, it was crazy yesterday, wasn't it? And I'm like, do you, are you okay? Like, is everything cool? I'm, yeah. It's like, I just, my lip and every, and, and I look like a mess right now. But yeah, everything's fine. It's just like, oh, thank goodness. Like, we were all, like, worried and stuff, and it was insane. Um, but you want to hear something really cool? And I'm like, hey, heck, man. Sure. Why not? Lay it on me. What's cool right now? What 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 could possibly be cool right now that that pertains anything towards me? He looks at me dead in the face. He was just like, "Dude, you caught the frisbee." And I'm like, "Heck yeah, I did, son. Yeah, I did catch the frisbee. What what? Yes, I caught it. It was all worth it now, guys. Woo!" So he was just like, "Yeah, we had to pry it out of your hands, man. You had a death grip on that thing." And I was just like, yeah, I did. I caught that frisbee. I got the point. I beat it all, and it only took a tooth, a lot of blood, and a trip to the ER to do it. But I won that, guys. Okay? Woo! So, point of the story is, don't talk to people. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for listening to my story time. And if you want more story times, make sure you comment below, because I will gladly give you more. This hoe gets hurt. All the time. There's a lot I could tell you guys. We could spill the tea all day. Air day. Okay, I got stories galore. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this stuff and you want to see other things, go back and subscribe. Because I make new videos every Wednesday and Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. You've been watching Nerdosity, and I will see you next time.